one of the things that i can tell you kidney in china tastes similar to that in uganda unlike the liver when you buy the liver just know you're in for it it's dark and doesn't taste well so i was craving this kidney with matoke at least i wanted to try them that's why i'm preparing them as you're saying i've had a lot of cravings for the african food we prepared our ovos from our last video which you're going to see them when they are ready and we are going to be using them today I don't like the smell of onions that's why i'm wearing a mask and more so the kitchen smells chained food stuff and spices Yes, this is one of my favorite breakfasts in Uganda and they are very common but the way these ovals look like mm, they really don't seem to be that they look like they want to be the ones that are going to be the So we are preparing our ingredients and get fast. As you are saying, our matoke is getting ready our chancha. My love for matoke is so happy that I'm really trying out every food that I wanted to try so I'm mixing the ovals with a matoke initially the in Uganda they would have had some fat but these ones they would taste so plain white as you're saying so let's just see how it will turn out but it really looks so different After preparing it, I feel like I don't want to eat this over, but I'm going to try because I was craving it, but um, I don't even feel like I have the appetite anymore. That's why I got these guinnards. Um, the ovals they don't taste like those ones we have in Uganda but I've been craving this kind of breakfast it's my favorite it's my favorite breakfast in Uganda but it has failed yeah but I'm not going to lose my matoke I have my guinnets here so I'm just going to eat it like this better mm, the problem is they don't taste like those ones in from Uganda and they are smelling so much of which now I don't eat meat and I feel like I could eat it I don't eat meat so that's a problem as well I don't eat chicken I also don't like onions What we are having right now is Ugandan's breakfast. This is what they usually prepare. Though I wanted green pepper like this, visible. Onions, I don't like eating onions. I will separate them. Yeah, I've tried to cook all the food I was craving. Um, mostly it was matoke with other dishes, but matoke in different ways. Just I prepared two, as you're saying.
This is what I have prepared today, silver fish with a lot of eggplants. Ah, uh, green pepper, sorry. I like, I like green pepper. My matsuke, see how yum it looks like, guys. Yeah, I really, I'm really satisfied. I've prepared matsuke in all different ways. These are just two of them. Yeah, but I'm managing them so well. Yes, our shema is here. In my local language, we call it kaung, guys. Yeah. As you can see, our water is yeah, damp hot, damp prepared. Eat. Okay, I think this is going to be enough for me. Um, and then I'll get our hot water. When I told my husband I got Kaunga, he said make sure you keep some for me so he would love to try it i think that was too much right is it yes comment down below if you know how to prepare it ah this is my worst food but i ended up cooking it for myself sickness issues If I didn't even like it, This is not yet dry but I'm hungry I can't wait I'm going to let it I'm going to let the rest dry by this one mm -hmm. I can't wait guys I'm so hungry If one of my family members saw me eating ugali like this, they would be laughing. It used to take me minutes to eat. I'd be staring at it, I'm like, oh God, poor show. <laughs> I remember I promised myself when I get married, when I get my own place while I was still studying, I was like, <clears throat> I will never cook posha at home. This ugali is one of the common dishes that schools prepare in Uganda. Majority of them prepare kaunga with beans. Not even majority, all of them. Some just do some changes.
So by the time you're done with school, you don't like it anymore. I'm full. Now what about the rice that we got? And it wasn't even dry yet. I'm going to leave it for it to dry from here. I'll eat it later when I'm hungry. What I realize when you're pregnant, just a small portion can keep you full, just like this. Guys, good morning. As you're seeing, it's really, really cold here. But um, I'm, I'm getting some energy ever since I got Ugandan stuff. Yeah, I think my baby wanted her mom's motherland food stuff. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if I was in Uganda, I would have done a DNA on my baby. <laughs> my champion, I love you. I haven't got my baby's name, so apparently I'm just calling him or her champion because, hey, aha, uh -huh. to be honest, it hasn't been easy at all the past, past weeks, but we are moving regardless, but um i was telling you about that dna i would have taken my baby to a, to do a dna even though i had only slept with a father why maybe i was having a a, a homeland spiritual baby you know because <laughs> the way this baby made me cry for ugandan things food porridge and all that but ever since i got that porridge i've been taking it honestly I've not been waking up to eat or I've not been vomiting on because I'm hungry. I just take one cup of porridge and it keeps me full for hours. Can you imagine? But before, uh, I would take a little Chinese porridge and I'd still be crying, hungry, starving. I feel like my stomach is empty. All I want is Ugandan food. But yeah, as you saw, we prepared Ugali and... My baby was so happy i ate two times by the way why am i talking too much we are going to be making porridge naturally me i don't take milk i i i told my mother-in-law to get me this small one because i was craving this porridge with milk i don't know if i'll drink it but that's what i feel i want so you know sometimes you want something and and then you don't drink it it happens and it has been happening several times <clears throat> I'm going to first prepare a little porridge I was just filling the pan with water this is the porridge as you see it's packed already yeah? um, here it's like the company is called Maganjo Pure Millet Flour, the taste of Ugandan Bushera. They don't have it here. I had with percent millet milk. I want the butter to boil, then I start mixing. I've been talking too much, right? Add in a lot of milk since I don't drink milk. This is how the milk looks inside. <coughs>
if you're wondering do i do i have any escort while i'm taking porridge no i only take this cup and keeps me full for hours the good thing yesterday i prepared ugali rice and beans they are there it's what i'll be having today so no cooking today Yeah, this is the power of being pregnant. <laughs> you even eat things that you never thought you could be eating now, like Mary canned, you know. Ah, as you're saying, it was even there. You could feel that the milk is the, the one I used to mix. So, and I'm so satisfied, guys. I believe my baby is happy now so guys thank you for watching pray for me that yeah i i get strength i manage this journey so well without my husband as you know my husband is far away from me there are things i would have liked him to do for me but he's not here so i have to manage that i can't even tell my mother-in-law to do for me most of the times yeah that requires a man but He's just one call away. He might not come immediately, but whatever I need, he makes sure I get it. If I want to eat something, I just tell him, honey, I like this. If I want to do something, he's so excited to be a dad. Um, he's going to be a very loving father. And I'm my husband loves our baby that's the most exciting thing he's so excited about this baby that he can't even let me leave the country to go back to my country when i'm pregnant when he comes he drops by on random days which i don't show you sometimes he'd be like let me hear the baby and i'm like can you even hear the baby at this point but Tommy is still in as you're seeing in this video here he does that often sometimes when he video calls me he'd be like can I see your tummy? <laughs> oh, as it's not coming out. <laughs> yes, no, he's so excited. Makes me happy. Yeah. I'm so happy we are having you with daddy and he's so ready for you. Oh, my tummy is not yet big like this. Eh? <laughs> it's just the sweaters and <laughs> the t-shirts. Yeah, my tummy is still inside down so <laughs> if you're thinking oh it's already out no guys anyway let's meet again in our next video bye bye and yes i managed to have grasshoppers from uganda see how the chinese grasshoppers looks like and the ugandan grasshoppers how they look like which one is more yummy guys those ones are from uganda yellish they are so yummy anyway hubby told me to keep some for him so i'm going to freeze some for hubby but just now i'm so excited and guys let me tell you one thing i'm eating so well ever since i got the ugandan food stuff i'm not vomiting i'm not throwing up i'm eating so well i'm enjoying the food just now i'm loving it so much but I can't still stand the smell of the Chinese food. I can't still eat meat, chicken, or beef pork. So, and it's not easy, by the way, getting food. Thank you so happy that you have sponsored my meals. You know, like it's really costly getting these things. But thank you, darling.